So good morning, everyone, and a big, warm, happy new year to each and every one of you. Um, I hope you enjoyed your Christmas break and that it was uh, graceful and gentle with you in these un in these troubled times. But we're back here on the Saturday morning team, and today we're very privileged to have uh, Mr. Al Bala from Manatech. I'll give you. I don't. There, I know some people wouldn't have had the opportunity because we didn't have Al last year as a guest, so I have to fix that this year. Um, so Al Bala joined Manatech in October 2007 as Senior Vice President of Global Sales. He was then named Executive Vice President of Sales in June 2011, and in 2014, he was named President to streamline and unify sales and marketing efforts to even better support Manditech's independent sales associates worldwide. In his current role as CEO, he continues to provide associate support and focuses his efforts on the company's global expansion. Al served as Chief Operating Officer of Brit Worldwide, one of the largest independent Amway network marketing organizations from 1992 to 2006. While with Brit Worldwide, his main focus was providing motivation, training, and tools for associates in the field more than 65 countries across the globe. Al was also heavily involved in the launch and relaunch of over 60 international markets, including BRICS markets, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, which propelled the international sales volume to more than 500 million. Al served as manufacturing plant manager for Bose Corporation from 1983 to 92, and he's conversant and fluent in more than 13 languages. In addition to more than 20 years of domestic and international experience in network marketing, Al's proven record includes growing major direct sales organization to 750 million in turnover, reaching more than 1 million people in 60 countries. Al wants his, walks his talk. You know, he's passionate about the field and company. He's here to support each and every one of us. You know, and Manatech is, you know, today we're talking Manatech's on track for a powerful 2022. And so we're going to support you with everything for you to take advantage of that. So, Al, God bless you. Thank you for being here. All right. Well, thank you so much, Sharon. I, I really do appreciate this opportunity to talk to my Australasian family. It's been just such a long time. Um, since we've been together, uh, I didn't realize it's been that long since I've been actually on your call, but, uh, definitely, uh, if there's anything I can do something about, I want to avoid that in the future. I want to be more visible for sure. Uh, certainly the last couple of years have been a bit challenging. Uh, so my heart goes out and I, you know, I, I, I prayers to all of you who have either gone through some situations or your family went through some situations. Um, uh, I know that, you know, even within our Manatech family, as, as small as that been a, 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 an impact that we've had some impact. So, uh, we, we keep you all in our prayers. Uh, those of you who had gone through some of those situations, losing some people close to you, family, uh, and others. So, but, uh, yes, it's, um, uh, it's a different time. We are living in different times. Um, the world has gone through a major upheaval over the last couple of years. And, you know, I'm gonna obviously be very sensitive to the fact that, you know, uh, those things are real and those things uh, are, are, are painful and has been very impactful in people's lives and businesses. Uh, so we do recognize that. Uh, however, I, I must say that, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm reminded of a concept I've, I heard of years ago, which is, Usually, you know, fortunes are made in times of transition, in times of chaos, in times of change uh, for those people who are obviously ready and obviously have the right offer for the marketplace at those, during those times. Uh, so I will spend a little bit of time just kind of walking you through what that is, what that looks like. Um, if you don't know, uh, Manatech had a very good 2021. It's probably one of our best years in the last 12 years. Um, and, and as you said, Sharon, we're poised uh, for a very powerful 2022. Now, this has been in pockets, obviously. Uh, some markets have been more affected by the lockdowns and, 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 the, and, and the situations that have not enabled us to, to be at a, at a you know, maximum, at 100%. Um, so, uh, and in those places, 
we are very thankful uh, for all of you who have stuck with it, who've stayed in the game, stayed in, you know, you're kind of uh, standing in a gap and doing what you got to do. And, and I know it's more difficult than it's been. Just the fact that we can be together and we can't have this, this sense of community that we've, we've shared in the past, uh, that brings a lot of hope and a lot of inspiration and motivation to each, to each one of us because we all, we need each other. And more than ever, we've needed each other. So, um, but at the same time, um, one of the things that I think is a, is, is a characteristics of a people like, like us and people in Manatech is we're resilient. We're incredibly resilient. We're very creative, we're innovative. And because we have this entrepreneurial mind, we, we learn to pivot. We learn to not let circumstances dictate our future. So for me, uh, one of my strong messages for today is that we don't have to be a product of our circumstances. The world, the macro economy may be going through different things, and, but we still, we still choose and we still decide what our future looks like, that we can literally design that future. And and I just want to tell you as well, another strong message for you all today is a lot of what has happened has actually uh, confirmed in many ways that what we've done all along was the right thing. Yeah. I'm just going to go off camera right now, but I'm, I'll be right here if you need anything. Okay, you bet. <laughs> Take you bet. notes. You bet. You got it. Okay. So, so a lot of what we've been doing for the last 30 years has actually been validated in the last couple of years. So let's pick on some of those things because those things are very important for us to realize that despite what's going on around us, despite the circumstances, for those of us, you know, and again, we've all heard 98% uh, is what, you know, 2% uh, is what happens to us, 98% is how we react to what happens to us. And over the last two years, we've all had to, in some ways, pivot. We've had to pivot from a mindset point of view. We had to pivot from our, our processes and, and, and ways to do things in, 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 in different ways. And, and, but we also, I think we've realized all along that, my goodness, we were always going down the wrong, the right path. And, and the last two years has validated that we were in the right path. So what am I saying? Well, number one, Investing into your wellness is no longer uh, just a luxury. It's a necessity. You know, I read somewhere, it was just a few weeks ago, I was reading that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, what's going on in the world, we're, we're all going to, in some ways, in some forms, maybe some of you have, maybe some of you haven't. I know I went through a whole, you know, last October, October of 2021, I had COVID, you know, uh, actually 2020, October of 2020, I, I got the, the Delta variant. I was, you know, in bed for a couple of weeks, but I realized at that point that 41 years of investing in, in health and wellness and being proactive with my wellness, taking the right supplements, eating the right foods, uh, working out, all those things were very valuable investment in, in, in for me to be able to deal with that situation at that moment. Now, that's not just me. I think the world has now realized that that's true. So uh, there was a survey that just came out. It came out December 15 of 2021. And this is uh, Amway Corporation uh, did the survey. It was 8,000 people. So it was a pretty large survey. And the results shows it said Americans are making positive change to improve their health amid what's going on. Americans are more likely to incorporate new health and wellness supplements into daily routine compared to global respondents. Now, when I say American, obviously that's where the, the survey was done. But at the same time, you, you, you do understand that this is a global thing all around the world people are now more likely to incorporate new health and wellness supplements into their daily routine. They are gonna be more proactive in their health and wellness. So, uh, so I think that, you know, that 
for me is is something that is is crucial as far as as we look at our lives as you know Manatech associates as we look at ourselves as people that have been really these advocates for health and wellness that we are literally in the right place at the right time with the right solution for a world that is truly seeking what we what we have you know the fact that we, you know Manatech has been a a uh, a well, you know, a, a, a immune system that we've been the pioneers in the immune system for all these years. For me, I believe that that's a big deal. We're probably the best kept secret in immune health of the last 30 years. And this is the time because, you know, the other survey that I read is also about how many people are actually looking. I'm actually looking around because I just had it in my hand. Uh, to give you some of the numbers. And by the way, uh, Sharon, what I'll do is everything I'm going to be sharing today, I'm actually going to send you those documents so that you guys have it and you can circulate it because these are very powerful validation for all of us in terms of the, the fact that we're doing the right things right, right now and that we have something for the world at a time where the world is hungry for those things. Um, so, so this whole uh, this whole awareness, global awareness in health and wellness, and this being proactive in your health, is something that is really playing really well for companies like Manatech that have been in the, in this field for a long time, and it's propelled us. I mean, literally, uh, 2021. I mean, we were ahead of all our projections by over $10 million, you know, so, uh, and, and even without having all of our regions, you know, participating in this growth, but in many of the key regions, we saw some very respectable growth, uh, at times double digit growth in some months, uh, year over year. And that's because we have this groundswell of, of demand for the type of things that we provide and been providing all these years. So uh, I, I, I'm not sure who's listening today. I, I recognize a lot of the names obviously uh, that I hear, but I would love for you to just put, a, uh, uh, put, put yourself out there and, 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 and communicate with me through chat if you can. As I say these things, if some of these things really resonate with you, and, and so if you agree with me, just put a one on the chat or, or, or just let me know that you're listening and that this is really resonating with you as, as we go forward. You know, uh, two days ago in, uh, uh, in, a, in a website that's, a, it's, a, it's an investor website as for people who are obviously, uh, who invest in stocks uh, it's called Seeking Alpha, and this was January 12th of 2022. Now, this article had nothing to do with us. We didn't, we didn't pay for it. <laughs> Somebody out there went ahead and did, I mean, this level of, 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 of analysis on Manatech, I mean, literally, you know, pages and pages and pages and charts and analysis, and basically said, Manatech, small but mighty health food pick, obviously a stock pick. Uh, because of uh, you know, the things I just talked about, the last two years have created an amazing uplift for Manatech. Uh, I remember back in March of 2020, uh, of March of 2020, our stock was at seven dollars, and and it got up to almost forty one dollars since then, and it's now around thirty six, thirty eight. So that is almost like we have more than triple, quadruple our stock, stock value. And that is, you know, if you're not an investor, whether you're an investor or not, that's not the, 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 the real uh, conversation here. The real conversation here is that people out there who, who are spending the amount of time they do to analyze the stocks realize that something is happening. So Manatech, small but mighty health food pick. Manatech, a little known wellness, nutrition, and dietary supplement outfit with an extremely low valuation, right? But yet 
has yeah because of the yeah they they say the pandemic forces in the economy have resulted in strong free cash flow generation and much better final margin on sales. Now that's a lot of talk, that's a lot of financial talk, but it just basically says we're doing good. We're doing better than good, you know. And 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 then they they go on to say, well, why do we think some a company like Manatech? So this is a stock analyst view of our company and 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 i would say a very you know a a a, 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 a something that i would say is is pretty respectable right because these are people who know what they're talking about right he says a big part of the upside story and stronger turns in earning during 2021 can be blamed on the appearance of the covid pandemic consumers now this is the deal consumers are hungry for word of mouth, word of mouth, food supplement recommendation to combat blah, 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 okay? While refocusing on personal health issues. Folks, this is not coming from a manatecker. This is not, not coming from a network marketer. This is coming from a very pragmatic stock analyst who's realizing, oh, I see what's going on here. He goes, so, so I love this, consumers are hungry for word of mouth food supplement recommendation. Folks, that's our, that's our business. Word of mouth food supplement recommendation, that's us. That's what we've been doing for 30 years. Now, if you remember back in the days, they used to poo-poo you know, what we do as, well, that's not real business, that's not real this, that's not real that. Uh, but yet now they realize, oh my God, there is value, there's power in a word of mouth model. Then it says, uh, buying online and shipping to home trends help to prop up margin as no retail location is required. Folks, what have we been talking about all these years? Why is this such a great model of distribution? So when you're sitting at home and you go, well, I'm, I'm just kind of in Manatech. I'm a Manatecher. No, you're not. You're part of really an amazing business model, right? That's right in line with the trends. And what are the trends? Buying online, shipping to homes. That's a trend, right? And where no retail location is required, we are more effective, efficient financially because we don't have retail stores. But you guys know what that means. It means that the money we don't spend on retail stores is what we pay out in compensation. So for those people who always wonder, well, where does the money come from? What kind of, you know, black magic, voodoo, whatever, uh, alchemy do we, do we do to create income for people like you guys? You know, is this like a Ponzi scheme pyramid? Yeah, unless you've been living in a, under a rock, yeah, that's what you think. But if you're a stock analyst who really look into the numbers, you realize, oh, it's because there are online shopping, shipping to homes, no retail stores. That's why we can do the things that we do. And that makes us, folks, a powerful model. Okay? A powerful model of distribution. Right? Yes, there's no black magic here. This is pure economic you know, modeling of a distribution system where people like yourself, who are part of that supply chain you know, uh, 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 process, you bring that, you, th those products to the market through word of mouth advertising, which by the way now is the preferred way Oh, that's a preferred way for consumers to decide how they buy supplements and things that have related to their health. Folks, when it comes to your health, when it comes to things you put in your mouth, you are looking for recommendations from people you know and you respect. And that's what we are. We are those people. On top of these positives, the pandemic has given management an excuse to better align rationalized costs with sales. Then demand tick, the demand 
ticked higher after total sales stagnated for a decade, Manatech has been selling more product with less sales associate and preferred customers. Hello? We are selling more products. There's no question about it. We're selling like $10 million more product than we did last year. So folks, that says a lot about the validity of our model and the fact that after all these years, we are still relevant. We are a relevant you know, uh, go-to-market strategy uh, in, in, the, in the wellness field. So, I mean, they, these guys went on to explain everything from why Ace Manon, why we have the best Ace Manon in the world. I mean, I mean, it's just things that, I mean, I mean, for me, this is the best kind of advertising we can ever get for no money at all. And then he goes into chart after chart after chart to show why we are doing well, folks and why we will continue to do well. And, and, and when I say that, we don't do well unless you do well. So I think that that's the, that's the, that's the whole point. So, so on one end is understanding that, you know, if you, if you look at the trends in the marketplace, wellness is going to be a very strong tr trend. I mean, we're talking about a $4.2 trillion industry that's only going to be bigger than it's ever been, that's growing faster than any other segment of business is health and wellness. And folks, when someone says, what do you do? I am in the fastest growing segment of business globally. Do you know what it is? Oh, it's wellness. That's what I'm involved in. I'm involved in wellness. So you're right, Kelly. This is our time. Thank you, Kelly, by the way. I appreciate all, everything that you're putting on the chat. But this is truly our time. But it's not by accident. It's not a mistake. It's just that we are lying. There's you know, this confluence between all these things that are happening so that it actually is, is creating this massive wave that we're experiencing, that we experienced in 2021 and already experiencing in 2022. Our sales in 2022 are already ahead of our sales in 2021. And 2021 was better than 2020 and everything in the last 10 years before that. So folks, whether you're sitting in Australia, in New Zealand, or in Singapore, or anywhere else that you are listening to this, and, and, and yes, there's situations that you have to deal with there's lockdowns and there's other things going on, but all of that has, the whole world has pivoted to online buying. And guess what you have? You have an, an, a, a, an online store. You have an online store in the fastest growing segment of business called wellness. You have an online wellness store. And by the way, your, your online store your online store operates now in 32 countries. And as you know, we just opened up five new countries in Europe, six new countries, right? France, Italy, Greece, Belgium, Luxembourg, and Poland. While everybody is paralyzed, Manatech is trucking along. This train is moving on. We are expanding into new markets because this is truly our time. And I don't say this, just to go, oh, let me see if I can motivate the folks in Australasia. No, I am just telling you that this is what's going on right now. And, and, and your choice is going to be to go, okay, do I jump on this train now or do I just wait around and wait for what? For the pandemic to be over, for everything to go back to normal, and then we'll go back to normal. Fortunes are made in times of transition, in time of chaos, in times of change is where fortunes are made. And folks, this is truly our time. And we need to totally embrace it and leave the circumstances out and say, hey, I'm going to create my own circumstances because I know what I got my hands on. Guys, you've always known you had the best products in the world but you just didn't realize that there was gonna be a time 
in the world's history where those products would be foundational to people's health going forward. So folks, I am just telling you that that's going on. Now, the other thing that's going on, so, so you know about home-based everything, right? Home-based education, home-based bi you know, business, home-based buying, home-based selling, home-based everything. Everybody's at home. Well, we have been a home-based business for 30 years. So that means we're just more relevant today than we ever been. And then somebody just put something in there that was going to be my next thing. It's called the Great Resignation. Folks, we've had 20, 30, 40 million people resign in the last couple of, couple of months. And these people are resigning on purpose because they decided that, you know what? I want more freedom. I want more flexibility. And I want to get paid for, what I, for my worth. Because a lot of people have felt and have found themselves in being, you know, in sub, uh, in, in, in sub uh, conditions in terms of where they could really use their full on God given ability, talents, and, and creativity. They found that they were sub optimized in some way. And, and now they, they're saying, you know what? I'm going to go strike out on my own. And the other thing is, I've been home. I love being home. I love being with my family. I love being around my children. What if, what if I could find a way to create the same kind of income or more and yet do it from home? And that's been an amazing phenomenon. I guess you guys understand, right? It's an amazing phenomenon that's going across the globe. This is across the globe. This is not just a situation in uh, in the U.S. or, 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 or you, know, the, you know, a few other countries, it's everywhere. So, you know, I, I learned a long time ago from my mentor that in all adversity lies seeds of greater opportunity. In all adversity lies seeds of greater opportunity. And for those who decide to reframe their mindset to go, let me find the opportunity in this adversity and, and let me just put the pedal to the metal, get the blinders on and forget about the circumstances, create my own circumstances. Folks, I mean, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not trying to motivate you, but our best years after 30 years of existence, our best years are definitely ahead of us. So. Wellness, online business, think about this. You know, um, a few months ago, I got to go, uh, uh, working with Mr. Uh, Bill Walsh, I, I got to attend two, uh, they call them um, White Label Expo. White Label Expo, thousands of companies come in into a big place. Uh, one was in Las Vegas, the other one was in New York. And then, you know, Thousands of people will walk through for two days through this expo. We're about to do one in London uh, uh, in, in March, April this year. And, and they come through because these people are people who are, they're looking for something. They're looking for a product. They're looking for some, a product they can add to their current line of business. They're looking for a business. They want to start something online. So when you go through this thing, you find the companies that will you know, that will white label you products. You'll find companies that will help you create labels. You find companies that will help you create websites that can sell that you have companies that will teach you how to, uh, that will help you set up payment systems. Then you have people that will help you set up logistics and, and shipping and all those things. And I'm sitting there and I realize, do you, do you know that for less than $500, US dollars, whatever that is in, in Australia, for less than $500, in literally 15 minutes, I can set you up in a business. You can set somebody up in a business the way they have their own online store operating in 32 countries where Manatech will drop ship door to door to, to consumers in 32 countries you don't have to worry about the logistics. You don't have to wor worry about the payment systems. You don't worry about picking a product, buying inventory, labeling the inventory, sending it to Amazon, whatever you got to do. None of that. 
literally for less than $500 in, in less than 15 minutes, I can set you up in business right now. And then you are in business for yourself and you go, wow. And then how many people want to be in business for themselves? Well, it just happened that it's a lot of people want to be in business for themselves. Now, some of you are pretty much aware of this concept called the gig economy, right? Uh, we started talking about this about two years ago. And at that time, we was, uh, the, 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 the stats were that 53 million people in America, just in America alone, and, and then you can just extrapolate what that means worldwide, that 53 million Americans were involved in these side hustle gigs, right? Well, I just got the final reports and I'm gonna be sending this to you guys, right? 47 million more Americans are going to join the side hustle economy in the next five years. So you add 47 million to 53 million, that's a hundred million people. In, in the US alone, now I apologize, obviously I only have US numbers, but you know, you know these numbers, you just have to you know, globalize them and they become even more interesting. The income generated by side hustlers in the US last year was $90 billion. It says two out of three American adults have a side hustle for secondary income. Guys, I've been involved in this industry for 41 years. I guess I started quite young, huh? right? Uh, is what we say. And I remember back in the days where I spent half of the presentation was convincing people that they needed a side hustle, that they needed to do something additional because everybody was brainwashed to the fact that, oh my God, I got a job. I'm gonna be working the job for the rest of my life and then I'm gonna retire and then I'm gonna have a 401k and then I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that, blah, blah, blah. And back then, 42 years ago, we used to remind people that the average American used to live 18 months after retirement. So that means you did all those things and then at the end, guess what? You get to enjoy it for 18 months. That was the average lifespan of people that were retiring. But you know, we had to fight. We had to, we had to really try to convince them that they need a side hustle. Well, today, guys, you don't have to, you don't have to convince anybody. They have convinced themselves because everybody in every country in the world, the middle class has been decimated. We've seen our buying power decline considerably over the last. 20, 30 years. And, and people have to do something else. So two out of three Americans have a side hustle. It says by 2022, that's this year, more than 50% of US households will have earned, earned money in the side hustle economy. So folks, if that's true, that means there's a lot of people out there that not only they're involved in a side hustle, they're earning in a side hustle. Now what we got to do is we got to be able to position what we do, Manatech, as the ultimate side hustle for all the reasons that I explained to you, right? Because, you know, side hustle be, could be being an influencer, getting a second job, selling online, taking surveys, renting rooms in your house, consulting service, blogging, giving rides, if you're Uber, whatever. But network marketing is truly, truly the best side hustle there is. One, because it's easy to start. It doesn't require a lot of knowledge. It doesn't require a lot of capital investment. These are the things we always knew. We've always said that, but now it's even more important than it's ever been, right? So network marketing is the ultimate social business model as by you know, the Wall Street Journal. And it says it's experiencing larger than life growth spurred on by millennials ready to become the entrepreneurs of tomorrow. Folks, if there's a trend you need to really pay attention to is the, 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 the millennials. 
The millennials have the most buying power of any generation today. Largest generation in a planet, 10,000 people turn 21 every day. Nearly half of these millennials uh, make their purchases based on word of mouth. Word of mouth, folks, is like the ultimate marketing has now gone back to what? What used to be the original marketing, which is word of mouth, which is the thing we're really the best at. 63% of millennials stay updated on brands through social media networks. So not only you need to be, you need to have your own online store, but folks, you need to just understand what's going on on social media and take a dive. Take a dive, folks, because that's where your customers are. Your best customers, either as associates or customers to buy your products, are on social media. 89% would rather, would prefer to choose when and where to work over their nine to five position. So they wanna choose when and where to work. 45% will choose flexibility over pay, and but this is the kicker. The average net worth of a millennial is $1,900. So they are the biggest, they have the most buying power, they are more socially plugged in, but they're the brokest, poorest generation we've ever had. The average net worth of a millennium is $1,900. So you know, but they have million dollar dreams. They're the people who are taking us into crypto and NFTs and all those things because they want the big money. They broke, but they want the big money. They think big. They think you know, a little bit more uh, utopianly, but that's okay. All we have to do is be able to take them through a very logical process to show them why network marketing is the ultimate social business model. Why? We're location independent, flexible schedule, no caps on your income. We have mentorship. Folks, if there's one thing the millennials need and want more than ever is mentorship. I go to a lot of you know, masterminds. I belong to a couple of different masterminds in the Dallas area. I mean, we're involved with Bill Walsh. We go out there and talk to small business owners. We teaching small business owners how to understand business. And I'm really blown away by the number of millennials that are coming to these places because they're looking for mentorship. They're looking for direction. Folks, I look at you all. There's one thing that you have is you have lived life. You have learned from life. You've learned from our business. You have so much to give to these millennials, not only just in how to make money, but just in how to live life to the best. And, and they're looking for you. They need you. Let, they let, you know, we, uh, network marketing leverages social media. You have no employees, low barrier to entry. And then the thing that's really exciting is global growth. You know, I've, 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 I've uh, walked, you know, I've, I've driven in a Uber, many Uber in the last few weeks. And every time I get there, I, I usually have this conversation with them, which is, hey, um, you know, so, so usually it's like, how long have you been driving? Last person I had, he'd done 15,000 rides. He'd been doing this for five years. He makes about $1,500 a week. Not bad. You know, he's, you know, and he's a retired uh, American Airlines employee. And Uber has been a great deal for him. So I did ask him, I said, look, so how does Uber scale their business? He goes, well, more drivers. They need more drivers. Okay, so I said, do you, uh, do you refer them drivers? He goes, yeah. I, he said, a lot of time people walk into my car and they're having problems. And most of it, you know, if it's a drug or addiction problem, I send them to a special group to, to give them some help. But if they just have money problems, I just say, hey, you should drive Uber. I said, how many people have you convinced to drive Uber? He said, about, about a dozen. I said, now, what, what does Uber do for you when you, when you recommend a driver? He goes, well, they, they pay me $200, which is, sounds great on the surface. I said, now, have you ever thought what would happen if you got a, a percentage of every ride that these people would take for the rest of their lives, as long as they're Uber drivers? 
and I, I definitely got his attention. He looked at me, he goes, you mean like in, in, in multi-level marketing? I said, yeah, like in multi-level marketing. He goes, well, actually, I know something about multi-level marketing, but yeah, that would be really exciting. Folks, this is the thing that we have that most other gigs don't, is we give people the opportunity to leverage themselves. See, when, 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 when Uber wants to scale, they go out and attract more drivers. They scale by having more drivers. You scale your business by having more entrepreneurs join you in your business or more customers coming in and buying from you. But this is the difference. If you're an Uber driver, every day you start from zero. You have no control over customer acquisition. You have no control about, uh, over customer retention. You have no control on scaling yourself in any way you can't. You got a job. You get paid based on the time that you spend. You have no opportunity to leverage whatsoever. And every day you start from zero. So having had that conversation with this Uber driver, he was like, I, I said, now I'm just testing a pitch with you. What do you think? He goes, that makes all the sense in the world. If I could, this would be an amazing thing to do. I said, well, I can show you how to scale and leverage yourself in the, in, in, in the wellness industry. So leverage is a, is, a, is a really, really important thing for us. But then beyond leverage, um, there's another mega trend you need to hear about. This, take notes, this is important. It says, we live in a subscription economy. Now, subscription is what we call, what we've called all along, automatic order, right? It's people who come in and decide they're going to get these products every, every month for a long time. And as you guys know, the last time we studied this, which was about seven, eight years ago, uh, University of Dallas did a, 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 an interesting study for us that, that actually uh, highlighted that the average, the average Amber Toast customer buys from us 9.7 years, 9.7 years. That's average. Now, last year we celebrated two, 350 people in the U.S. who have been buying Manatech products since it started in 1994 and they never missed a month. There's about 350 of them. Folks, we have a very interesting model and instead of calling an automatic order model, we're going to call it a subscription model. Subscribe, subscribe and save, subscribe and earn. Folks, every one of you start every month in your business knowing that you already have a base. Thank you, Chris. 23 years taking Manatech product. You understand exactly what I'm talking about, Chris, right? So it's very important you realize that every month you start already with a base and then you just add to that base. Sharon as well, 23 years. You're making my point. A Uber driver will never have that. A consultant will never have that. A blogger will never have that. They have no way to leverage and they have no way to scale what they do. So subscription economy, that's an interesting word because a lot of companies today are moving into the subscription model, whether it's, uh, you know, I don't know if, if, if this came by, uh, if this something that it's a, you, you experienced this in, in, in Australia, but it was called the, the Dollar Shave Club. The Dollar Shave Club, where you got your shaving stuff every month shipped to you directly. So you didn't have to think about going to buy your shaving things, right? Very simple model, you almost, uh, almost a silly model because these people were competing with companies like Gillette and others who have been in this business for 100 years. They, they came in and they just took that, that segment by storm because they, they added an element that Gillette had never thought about, which is subscription. You get your Dollar Shave box every month. In my house, I get... I get from a company called Viho, I get food for on a box, fresh food on a box every Monday. I, I, I belong to another group, another thing called Stately, and they send me 
an outfit close every month. It's like opening up a fortune cookie. I don't know what I'm going to get, but it's just a fun thing to know that the box comes every month and it's a new outfit. Ladies, I'm sure that that's something that that could be very exciting as well. <laughs> they do this for ladies and do this for men. I love it. You know, I get a new belt. I get a new shoes. I get new something. It's all my size. But folks, Dollar Shave Club sold to Unilever for over $1 billion. While it was not even a profitable company. You guys understand what I'm talking about? So what's happening is the world is shifting. Back in the 70s, companies that did product the best, like Walmart and Costco, and they, they won. They were the winners. Then they, in the 80s, 90s, we moved from product to product and services. Then in, a, in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, in the 2000s and beyond, we, it became a customer-centric Amazon kind of model. And now we're moving into what they call a relationship-centric model. Building a relationship with a company where you trust what they do to the point where you get those things on a monthly basis. It's a relationship-centric uh, uh, model. And folks, that's what we have been part of all along. We're part of a relationship-centric, We people come into that business through relationships. So the, the, the subscription model is taking the world by storm. It says 80% uh, of consumers are demanding new consumption models. 50% of people in France are moving away from traditional ownership 80% of German companies have dealt with the issue of subscription business models and $520 billion are being spent in, in subscription in the US alone, up from 250 billion in 2015. So literally in five years, a little bit over five years, it, subscriptions went from 215, 215 billion to $520 billion. Folks, industries are shifting and they're shifting our way. You know, maybe it was silly at one time to be telling people to be on automatic order, which by the way, we're gonna change to subscription. You're not in the automatic order business, you are in a subscription business. And subscription means that every month you start with a level of business and then you add to it and then you add to it and then you add to it and then you add to it. And that's a much better business where every month you start from zero. I hope that that makes sense to everyone that's listening to me. So folks, whether we're talking about the wellness industry, whether we're talking about the in-home shopping, in-home businesses, you know, home-based businesses, whether we're talking about the great, you know, the great resignation and the gig economy and the side hustle economy, and now the subscription economy, I think you can see that everything that's happening in the world to some degree, to some degree, is, is, is really, you know, reinforce the things that we have been doing all along. So what does that say then at this point? And I'm gonna kind of uh, start closing because I know it's been already about 50 minutes. I didn't even think we could, we could do 50 minutes, but um, obviously a lot of information to share. So let me just kind of, uh, go from the, the mega trends into maybe more of what's happening here at Manatech. So Manatech, what you're going to see over the next few months, you're going to see some new uh, technology platforms for better. Uh, one is going to, is called a direct uh, uh, rapid funnel or rapid PD, which is a, uh, which is a, a platform to help you with recruiting. It's specific to recruiting and to you know, leverage your business, to scale your business to, by, by bringing on new partners. Another one you're gonna hear about is a, is a, is a platform called Penny. Uh, Penny is a, is a customer acquisition, customer retention uh, application, which has really been very, very successful with many other big direct selling companies. And we're very, very pleased that we're bringing that on board. You're going to see us really um, make the whole immune support story. Just We just need to blow it up, guys. We need to blow up the immune support because the world, folks, the world is looking for immune support. 
uh, more than ever. And there's a lot of studies that are uh, validating what I'm just saying right now. You're gonna see us also uh, become very, I mean, you're gonna see a, a focus on the biome, right? The GI biome. Uh, actually tomorrow we're launching a new promotion here in the US, but I'm sure those things, it's just a matter of time. And then we spread it around the world, but it's what we call it, the, the biome box, the biome subscription box, right? The biome subscription box, because we want, you know, everybody should be taking care of their gut. There's enough gut immune system you know, connection. There's enough gut to brain connection. There's enough gut and energy connection. There's enough gut and, uh, and beauty connection, uh, skin connection. Folks, the gut is the foundation to good health. And we got amazing products in those categories between GI Pro Balance and GI Zyme, GI Defense. And then the, the other product is liver support. So we're gonna be very big on uh, 30 day challenges to cleanse the liver, to cleanse the gut, because until your gut is cleansed, it's not really absorbing all these other beautiful things that you're giving it, like, like glyconutrition or catalysts or vitamins, minerals, or whatever, your, your, your system needs to be also ready to receive that good nutrition. And by the way, uh, by being able to, uh, to increase absorption of good nutrition, you also are in a better position to lose weight, eliminate the bloatiness, constipation, diarrhea, all these things that are affecting everybody on the planet because it's in the water, it's in the air we breathe, it's in the food we eat. We got to get rid of all those toxins and, and, and everything ends up in the colon, in the intestines, in the liver. So folks, it's, we got to keep cleansing those things on a regular basis. So I'm sure that you're going to be hearing a lot about that as well. So, um, and I, I, I think there's so much more, obviously, you do realize that, you know, one of the things the millennials really, really are connected to is social impact. We say that social impact is the new currency. Uh, people want to know uh, that what they do actually makes an impact in the world, that what they do actually makes a difference for other people. So whatever you buy, whatever you promote, does it have a additional um, impact on, the, on, on people by doing the things that you normally would do for yourself, for your families? And M5N has been a beautiful thing, just a beautiful thing that is helping us to really tap into this need that people have for relevance, for purpose. You know, I tell people all the time, it's really people process. It's actually product process, people and purpose, the four Ps are very important to have really uh, 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 to have to 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 have the perfect synergies to build something that will create a legacy. So just want to let you guys know that those things are all in the works. We got so much. We're so excited about so many things. I'm not. I'm sure I haven't gone through everything. I couldn't go through everything, but I just want to tell you, it's been a great 2021, but it's going to be just a brilliant. 2022. Uh, and I'm just going to beseech you, I'm going to beg you uh, to, to frame your mindset uh, in, you know, and to really tune your radar on all these things that are going on in the world and say, look, how do I really absolutely leverage these things to really make my Manitech business more than it's ever been, at least, literally in the last 10 years? I think we have an opportunity to do that. So um, in, in, in saying that, I wanna just wish you all just an amazing happy new year, uh, uh, an amazing 2022. Uh, and just know we, we, we're with you, uh, we're you know, far, but we're still, our hearts beats with your hearts, guys. We love you guys. We wanna see you um, grow and prosper and more than anything else, go impact lives because folks, the world is demanding what we have, whether it's in wellness, whether it's an opportunity, whether it's in purpose and social impact, the world needs what we have. And, and I think it, yeah, if you don't do it, who's gonna do it? And if not now, when? When's the best time to plant a tree? 20 years ago or right now? So I'm gonna yeah, just beg you to all go plant trees right now. <laughs> okay, so anyways, <laughs> we love you all. Uh, thank you, Sharon, for the opportunity. I hope that this, uh, uh, this kind of helped people to 
to frame the 2022 in, 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 in a way that will serve them the best and, and serve obviously the rest of the, the, the people, the world in, in, a, in, a, in a more powerful way. So thank awesome, you Al. Okay. There's so much gratitude in the in the chat for you. And um, thank you so very much. And just a small um, request. I think we need a team of, of lawyers to challenge the TGA in Australia so we can have more free, free flow of uh, good wellness. Uh, look, it's same thing here. Uh, we fight the FDA here every day as well. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, but you got to realize the, the masses have come to the understanding that, you know, and that's why this, this demand for the things that we have and the, the demand for, and, and the word of mouth concept yeah. that's going on today, because people don't trust the media, they don't trust the doctors, they don't trust the pharmaceuticals, but they trust each other. We trust each other. Well said. Right? So, well said. All right. Well, thank you very much. So there are some questions about the, the biome products and what will come here. But we, guys, we just have to wait and see what how Jenny burns things through <laughs> the TJ and right. the approval yeah, system. Look, uh, I know Chris uh, and, and Jenny and the team are all working on taking as much of the things that are going on and making sure that they can, you know, they can adapt it for Australia, Asia. Um, you know, the other thing I didn't talk about, but obviously uh, we just did the European expansion, but we're very much looking at Asian expansion as well, uh, which I know is very dear to a lot of you, a lot of the countries we've been talking about for a long time. Uh, uh, and we were at the point before COVID where we almost had a solution and we would, but COVID kind of slowed it down, but we haven't forgotten that we want to do more of that as well. So it, it's going to be some a great two to five years for, for Manatech. Yeah. Everybody, we, what we've got is awesome. Um, and we just have to do the right thing with it. Al Bala, thank you. God bless you for your time and passion and leadership. Very much appreciated. You're very welcome. Love you guys. Yeah, I love That's you too. A phenomenal. Bye, everybody. Time. Have a great weekend. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye, Gary.